Welcome back, aliens. My name is Avin Reddy, and now we'll talk about Spring AI. Now, see, everyone wants to build AI application, or I can say AI-based application. So what application you have, maybe you're building it from scratch, or you have your existing product in which you want to add the AI feature, or maybe you want to make it AI-enabled. And the way you can do that is based on different languages. Till this point, a lot of people were building projects using Python because it has a lot of libraries, and then if you want to interact with all these LLM models, Python made sense. But then if you think about the world where every product is built using different languages, and if we talk about the enterprise market, most of the products are built with the help of Java. Here, we, we don't want to use uh, AI-enabled feature using Python and Java application, which is for the enterprise. What if you can connect the LLM models or the AI models with your existing applications with a layer in between and that too in Java. And that's where Spring AI comes into picture. So you might have heard about Langchain and other stuff using which you can do that. But then again, the question is why to focus on other language when you can use Java there? Now Spring AI is actually inspired by Langchain, but it has different features, okay? So there are certain things which are different in Spring AI compared to Langchain. And they have a bigger picture in mind thinking about this Spring AI framework or the module. Now, what is Spring AI? So Spring AI is an application framework for AI engineering. So if you want to add AI features in your product, you can use Spring AI. And so whatever application you have existing, so you can connect it with Gen AI, and you can take your data to Gen AI, and you can use Gen AI features to your application. Now, there are a lot of things here. So if you scroll down, it has its own documentation. But if you want to make it interesting, we have to first understand how we are going to learn this with our project. So let's focus on the project which we're going to build. Now, this is what we are planning to build, okay? So we'll explore different LLM models in which you have OpenAI, uh, then Anthropic, and we got Olama. So Anthropic is cloud. Uh, Olama, we have different versions here because I'm going to run the LLM model on my machine. So this, this is where you will get the response from the machine. This is where you will get, get the response from the Anthropic cloud. And this is where you're get, get, getting the output from the OpenAI cloud service, not the local. So two cloud and one local. So whatever question I ask, example, if I say what is Java, and if I click on this button, I should have changed the text, but that's fine. Uh, it will send the request, and you will get this response from OpenAI. It is taking some time. And you can see, in this case, uh, the cloud was faster. So we also have done uh, the speed. Again, this changes based on your prompts and the type of question you ask. So in this case, it was cloud, and we got the answer here. This is from the OpenAI, and this is from the local. So on this machine, I'm running uh, Mistral, if I'm not wrong. So this is getting printed from the Mistral, but we, we can also use DeepSeek here, and I will show you how do we do that. And since it will take a lot of time, we are going to do this step by step. In this video, we'll only focus on the basics. So this is the project which we, which we are going to build. Now this will be a Spring Boot application or Spring Boot web application in which we are going to introduce Spring AI to talk to the LLM models. Of course, we need to have keys as well. And as you can see for OpenAI, I already have two, two keys created and we'll, I will show you how to create a key. For Anthropic also, we have to create a key. And for DeepSeek or whatever local models we have, we don't have to get the key because it's running local on this machine. The front end for this is React. So I'm not going to teach you how do you build this front end here that can be done with the help of AI tools. You can ask your AI tool, hey, you know, I have this scenario, give me a React application, it will give you. But we have the, uh, the React code here and maybe in one of the video I will explain how this is working. But you got the picture, right? Now, in Spring AI, we are going to focus on different features. Special, specifically, we'll focus on the chat completion or asking question and get the response, not chat completion, but you will ask a question in the prompt, it will respond with some answers. Okay, not a continuous chat, it's just one time. And by doing this, you are going to learn a lot of things. And of course, if time permits, we'll focus on other parts as well. But majorly, we'll focus, we'll try to complete this project first. And once this is done, we'll focus on the features. Now, if you want to go through documentation as well, so while watching this video, you can go to this Spring website or Spring AI projects, click on learn. And here you will see there are different versions. It's still into one first version, snapshot. And if when you click on the reference doc, so they have everything properly structured here. And you can go through the notes, you can understand some AI concepts, 
And yeah, but then don't worry if you don't want to read. I will talk about those things while building this project. So I hope you're excited. Uh, I am excited. And let's see how do we do this. Uh, but then there are certain things which you should know before we do that. Uh, so before we continue with this project, there are some prerequisites. One, you need to know what is Spring Boot. You need to understand what is Spring Boot Web, uh, what is Maven. Uh, yeah, that is good. So if you know these things, this will be easier to build. If you're not sure about those concepts, you can check the link in description and you will find it. Okay, so that's it from this video. See you in the next video, everyone. Bye-bye.